The Gilbert White Field Studies Centre is the education department of the Gilbert White's House Museum in Selborne, Hampshire. Gilbert White was an 18th century amateur naturalist who explored the countryside around his home and observed creatures in their natural habitats. His book, which describes his observations, is called The Natural History of Selborne and has never been out of print. It is in fact the fourth most published book in the English language. Our Education Centre welcomes over 4,000 children through its doors every year to become explorers of the natural world themselves through a variety of workshops and topics. The centre, created from a converted 16th century barn, provides an ideal base for up to 60 children with cloakroom facilities, a spacious learning space and a wide range of resources for the study of nature. Our Nature Explorer workshops include investigating different habitats, learning about food webs, finding out about evolution and inheritance, and looking at plant or tree life cycles. Children get the chance to watch narrowly, which was what Gilbert White called his nature observations. The doors from the barn open directly out into the meadow, which is part of the museum grounds and a rich habitat for wildlife, making it ideal for exploring and studying nature. The meadow provides a grassland habitat with wildflowers in spring and summer and is bordered by hedgerow and woodland. The more formal gardens of the museum contain a range of areas providing different learning opportunities such as the kitchen garden with examples of 18th century varieties of vegetables and fruit as grown by Gilbert White, the flower garden known as the Six Quarters and the naturalist garden with its pond and bird watching areas. The museum itself is housed in Gilbert White's former home, now much extended from the original house which he knew. Inside the older part of the house are rooms furnished as Gilbert White may have known them, including his study, the 18th century kitchen and the great parlour in which is displayed the original manuscript of his book. The great parlour looks out onto the grounds of the house and was a room added to the house by Gilbert White in his lifetime. In addition, the museum houses the Oates Collection. Lawrence Oates was part of Captain Scott's ill-fated expedition to Antarctica and along with his companions died on the journey back from the South Pole in 1912. A range of original artefacts from the expedition are on display as well as examples of Antarctic wildlife. Antarctic Explorers is a popular workshop with schools. Lawrence's uncle, Frank Oates, was also an explorer, travelling through the Americas and Southern Africa. Our World Explorers workshop makes use of the Frank Oates Gallery, which provides an interesting contrast to the Antarctica Gallery for learning about different climatic regions and the creatures that live there. If you would like your class to be explorers of the natural world, please get in touch.